Explain Everything is a really good app to use as a teacher. It allows you to create videos that students can access while at home and then they can listen to you explaining ideas or concepts to them. Um, it also allows students to create their own videos that they could use as revision tools or that they could send to you so that you can actually check their understanding of a key idea or concept that you cover in lesson. This video is just designed just to help you get started with Explain Everything so that you know how to work your way around the basics. The first thing we're going to look at are the apps that you can see or the little instructions down on the left hand side. So the first one is just here, it's the pencil. And as you can see, just pressing on the pencil tool allows you to draw. If you keep your finger depressed on the pencil tool, you can change the pen width and that will allow you to draw with thicker lines, thinner lines. You can change how sharp the pen is as well. The next thing that we're going to have a look at is this one just here, which is the one that allows you to insert an arrow. And so if you click on there, you can see that you can insert arrows. Again, if you keep your finger depressed, you can also insert other shapes like circles and squares, thick lines and stars. You can add shadows and borders to them as well. So if we have a little look at um, the circle, you can see that I can draw a circle just by putting my finger on and dragging it across. I can insert a star as well and I can change just by dragging my finger backwards and forwards of the star. Once these objects are there I can move these things around and uh, I can move them to wherever I need them but I can also shrink them again as well should I no longer need them. The next thing that we're going to have a look at is this one just here which is the text. So all you have to do is just click on there and a text box will pop up and you can start typing away and inserting the text that you need to. Once you've moved that text there you can actually then start moving things around just by simply clicking on the little finger icon just here and that allows you to drag things around and you can also enlarge things as well and you can also make things smaller as well. The next thing that we're going to have a look at just here is the little plus sign. Now if we click on this one, it allows you to insert a video, a file, or a browser, or existing sounds that you may have as well. So if I insert a picture from my camera roll, you can see that I can just take a picture from anything and I can pop it wherever I want and again I can enlarge it and make it smaller whenever I need to. And I'm just going to put that in the corner as well. The next thing that we've got is the little red cross here. This is for any mistakes that you may have. So if you click here, it will delete the object that you want. So for example, if I delete the, the explain everything icons, you do have to keep on tapping on this one to keep deleting the objects. But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward to do. The next one that you can have a look at is this one here which gives you information and this allows you to copy things, duplicate things, rotate things, make things as a background. It's not one of the features that I use an awful lot of. You also have the next button here which is the arrow that allows you to undo the things that you have just done. So if I continuously tap on that it will undo the things and that includes moving and shrinking as well. You can also use this little button here which is the zoom button which allows you to zoom in and out of any object as well. So if I click on this one it allows me to zoom into that area of the space. So it's a little bit like Prezi in that way that you can shrink your screen right down and you can also enlarge it as well. So it's also quite useful for that sort of thing if you like the Prezi style presentation. The next thing is this one just here which allows you to make your object full screen which again is something that you may find useful, not personally. The next buttons that we have are these ones here which are colour buttons and these allow you to change the colour while you're in the middle of the presentation. At the start you normally choose a colour template to use, so I'm using the white background with blue, red and black. But if you get your finger depressed on each of these icons you can actually change the colours to any that you would like really so I can have blue but I can also change it there is a button which has a rainbow 
and that gives you all the colours of the spectrum so you can choose all, a multitude of colours that you may like um, from the option just there so if I change it more to the pink as you can see I can change them quite straightforward and I can do that a number of times just by clicking on the different ones that I have here along the bottom you've got your control bar you've got this option here which is allowing you to insert slides for example if you were to put in a um, PowerPoint presentation import that into explain everything you can then look at the different slides that you have by simply clicking backwards and forwards and then you can annotate onto that PowerPoint so it's good for like explaining um, a, a presentation really the next things that you have is the record button just here and the pause button which is also useful uh, you also have a fast forward and rewind as well the next thing you have is your timer just here which will count you down as you're recording if you were to click on this once you do finish recording it does allow you to zip backwards and forwards within your presentation so you can listen to parts and you can re-record the bits that you've been doing. The next thing that you have is the export control. So you have this one here which allows you to export your work as picture. You also can export as a video file to, for example, YouTube. You can export it as a file as well. But you can also then go home and um, save your document to work on a little bit later too. So as I say, it's a really useful presentation. In fact, I think it's one of the really useful apps that, that we have available. It's quite a powerful tool.